Hello, my name is Joe Neville and in this video I'm going to be talking to you about zero touch deployment using HP's Intelligent Management Center software or IMC for short, that's HP's Network Management Software Suite and by zero touch I mean the ability of a factory default router or switch on first boot to be able to communicate with the IMC server and download its configuration without any need for pre-staging or pre-configuration and without a console cable in sight. So how do we do this? Okay, here is my IMC server. The first step is to install the branch intelligent management software plugin to IMC. I've already done that. That's the plugin that provides the zero touch functionality. The next step is to create a configuration template which is going to be downloaded to the device. So to do that we go to service, BIMS, configuration management, config templates. In here we always have the default folder which has sample configurations. We're going to create a new folder by hitting add folder, uh, give it a name, custom array. And then in this folder, we're going to create our config template. OK, and we do that by hitting add. Give it a name. So sample one. Uh, the default is a configuration segment, which is a small part, piece of a configuration. We are going to create a full config file for download to the device. So we change that to config file. And you build the configuration template in this content box, so in this white space here. Now I've already got a config ready to go, so I'll copy that, paste it. Now the configuration when it's downloaded to the device is specific to the device, but the template doesn't have to be. So that means that you can reuse the template across multiple devices. Um, by the use of wildcards and I've used a wildcard here for one of the IP addresses so you create a wildcard with this string and then brackets and the name of the wildcard I've called IP underscore address so that's something that you assign um, yourself and I'll further on in the process um, you'll see where I'm asked to enter the specific details for that uh, wildcard. OK, so let us OK that. Now, the next step in this process is to create a small config file which is loaded onto a USB stick that is then um, connected to the router or switch prior to its first boot. And on that uh, config file, there's the vital information that's required to allow the device to communicate with the IMC server for the first time. So I've got a example of that and this is the one that we're going to use. It's the WAN facing IP address for the device and details of the BIM server. Now the protocol that's used between the device and the IMC server is called uh, CWMP, that stands for CPE WAN Management Protocol. It's also known as TR069. Um, so that's the way that the device speaks to the IMC server. So Zero Touch is not available on all devices, but any device that's running TR069 or this CWMP protocol. Okay, now in this case, uh, as I mentioned, we're using the USB stick. Now the parameters here, they don't have to be um, assigned via uh, USB. They could be if there's a DHCP server available when the device boots, the IP address could be assigned via DHCP and using DHCP option 43, we could push the information to the device um, which allows it to speak to the BIMS, uh, to the IMC server uh, running BIMS um, via the that option. So we can pass down the URL and these details to point it to the server. Now, in this case, I'm recreating the demo for a prospective customer. Um, they didn't have a DHCP server, so they were using this option of a USB stick. And that's what I'm going to show you. 
so let's have a look at my device here we are it is a HP MSR 1002-4 doesn't have any configuration on it other than the the, the basic um, and if I show you the USB there's I've in, I've installed the USB and we've got this auto deploy .cfg. now the name of the um, file is important you can't just call it um, the name of your cat dot text it has to be auto deploy dot cfg for the device to pick that up and use it as its uh, config to speak to the IMC server so I'll show you just to prove that uh, what we're going to use there so that's the only configuration on the box at the moment if we were going to do this for the first time the box would actually it could actually be powered off then we power it on for the demonstration here I've got the box powered up and I'm going to reload it okay so that's the the USB now um, back to IMC now with normal network management software you would um, import devices that were live on your network using um, uh, SNMP for example but in this case the device hasn't been booted for the first time or it's not live on the network I should say so what we need to do is create a virtual CPE so that's the entity of the device um, within IMC awaiting the boot of the device so to do that we go to service BIMS uh, resource management and we're going to add a CPE there's uh, multiple ways to do this you can do it via import of a CSV file you can use a barcode scanner I'm doing this manually um, to show you in this demo I go to quickly add now the way that device identifies itself is via its serial number and its OUI so you don't need to boot the device to find out its serial number. This information is all available from HP prior to uh, the device being installed and booted. And the OUI is actually a known uh, variable as well. All MSRs have the same OUI. So I enter that in. This is all pre-filled because I've done it before. Um, you'll have to manually enter this. We'll give it a name. The name of this device is Bob7. And we select the model type there we are okay that so we've successfully added our CPE okay okay now we have the template we have the virtual CPE now we need to create a task to tie those two together and to do that we go to BIMS configuration management deployment guide I'm going to do auto deploy configuration by CPE. Okay, so we select our folder, custom array. There's our sample. Now we, t and this is where we tie the sample together with the CPE. So there's our CPE. Then we hit next. And this is the wild card. This is where I enter the parameters. So that's what I called it IP underscore address. If you remember from earlier, I enter the parameter. I've already done it before, so it's pre-filled. Okay. Next, and that's finished. Awaiting the boot of the device. So let's go to our device and I'll reboot it. Okay, and as it boots, it will read from the autodeploy.cfg on the USB stick. That will point it towards the uh, IMC server and it will, via CWMP protocol, it will download its configuration. That's going to take a while, so I'll just pause the video there and come back when it's booted. Okay, so we're back and the device is booted. Um, you can see that the device came up here uh, without a configuration, without me touching the box, it has downloaded its configuration from INC. Uh, the sysname has changed there to Bob7 and it started to 
come up. Uh, interfaces are coming up. Um, and so that is zero to touch deployment. Okay, and if we look back at our BIMS server and we go to all CPEs, we can see the device is now the sync result is succeeded. It's live on the network. Stasis is uh, major because there's alarms as it's coming up that need to be cleared, but that in essence is zero touch. Okay, so personally, I'm not an IMC expert. Um, and one of the great things that I find about zero touch is actually the next stages, um, the way that you can combine this zero touch functionality with other processes such as BGP and IPsec to create a fully functioning device, fully secured on the network. And that's what I'm going to be talking about in later videos. Um, there's much more information on my blog about zero touch, nullzero.co.uk. But for now, thank you.